video. Today I am going to wash my hair. As you can see here, I've already started. Um, I just spritz my hair to see if my hair still has life because I straightened my hair. So you can see some part of my hair is reverting. This is what reverting means. So it's reverting at the moment. So some part of my hair is going to drink up the water faster than other parts. I have low porosity hair, but certain parts of my hair can be medium or high. Um, whenever you straighten your hair and put heat on your hair, it opens up your cuticles even more. So if you are low porosity, it can end up, your cuticles can end up being medium because now the cuticles wide shut and somehow when you use heat, it does open up the cuticle slightly. So I find my hair absorbing water quicker because now I have added heat. So yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how I wash my hair and get it back. It's only been like more than two weeks, under three weeks. The reason, the reason I'm using this to speak guys so that you guys can hear me. I am washing my hair now is because it's itchy. And also I have product buildup on my hair and I don't like having a dirty scalp. Um, if you have watched my previous videos, you would know that having a clean scalp helps grow your hair and also keep your hair healthy. And my main focus is to have healthy hair, is to have a healthy scalp. So as much as I really love the look, as much as I really love the look, I need to go back to my hair. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do this while not talking, I'll do a voiceover, and y'all will watch what I do. So basically, in a nutshell, you're doing the same hair routine that you do to prepare your hair for washing, for hair drying, and blow drying, and straightening. Um, so you basically shampoo your hair, you get rid of all that buildup, and you put conditioner, do a treatment mask, put a deep conditioner to replenish your hair uh, with moisture again and then instead of drying your hair with heat you just i air dry my hair but i'm not gonna add heat anymore i'm just gonna leave it as it is so uh yeah guys let's do this so guys you start out with wet hair make sure you use lukewarm to warm water to rinse out your hair this opens up the cuticle. So as you can see, my hair looks like really crazy right now. Really crazy. I start to apply the shampoo and I focus a lot on my scalp. This is the part where I have to loosen up the buildup that I've built up throughout the weeks. And I'm just really concentrating on the crown, on my edges, because I use a lot of edge control oil-based edge control so i'm trying to remove all of that build up and you just keep on like scrubbing that scalp y'all and when you keep on doing that guys just make sure that you also focus on the strands and you rinse your hair you rinse off your hair with lukewarm to warm water and you just keep on doing that and then i go on with the second shampoo and I shampoo again just to if there's any parts that I didn't shampoo and then I rinse again guys I rinse again like mega mind right now but I have put a uh, deep conditioner on my hair as you can see my natural hair shine I added a deep conditioner instead of a conditioner 
So usually you do a treatment mask and a deep conditioning treatment on your hair. And I section my hair into six parts. Three on one side and three on the other side. So I applied the deep conditioner in each section and then I twisted up my hair in a two strand twist and then I just put it up in these two little buns like you see. Um, it makes it easier for me to just put everything in a plastic and I just waited for like more than an hour to deep condition my hair with the product in my hair. And yeah guys, this is how it looks like so far. So after like an hour or so, I rinsed off all the deep conditioner with like lukewarm to warm water and I started doing the lock method. And the lock method, I'll just put it up on the screen. And as you can see, my roots are very clean. And as you can see, the texture on my roots is different to the texture on my hair strands. You know, when I was washing my hair, I realized that I need to wash it twice. So basically you wash your hair twice with shampoo and make sure that your hair is lathered with water. There's a lot of water, a lot of shampoo. You lather up with water and shampoo together and just make sure that your hair is like hydrated and it's soaking wet. So now the hair is soaking wet and I just rinse up all the product and then I make sure I follow up with a deep conditioner after that. But what I would say is, while you guys watch this, is that having curly hair and washing it and having straighter hair, wash days are way easier, I'll be honest with you. Wash days are way easier. Hey guys, I just wanted to come here and tell you guys about the do's and the don'ts about having straight hair. And also how to take care of your hair afterwards. As you can see, my hair is being braided. I am so happy with this style. It's very easy for me to maintain. It's very easy for me to install. I used, this is what I did. I literally, this is my hair. I don't know until when. I think until this point. And then I just added um, some extra extensions towards the end. So from the roots, this is my hair. From the roots. This is my hair, my hair, my hair, my hair. And then I, as you can see, let me give you an example. I start adding like from there, as you can see. And it's just like so easy to install. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that when you transition back to your curly hair, you're going to miss the, the easiness, the versatility, the how quick it is to get your hair done and you want to go back to that so I wanted that and at the same time I just want to take a break from having my hands in my hair because I had that uh, my hair straightened I did so many hairstyles I did so many looks my hair was constantly combed tugging it pulling it doing all kinds of things and I really wanted to have fun with my hair before I washed it because you have to wash your hair and when you wash your hair it reverts and I wasn't going to use heat on my hair after it reverted so when I washed my hair and it started shrinking back I was just like I miss the straight hair so I need to like do something quickly so this is what I did I just wanted to say when your hair is washed you're gonna feel like oh my gosh my hair is damaged because it's my hair reverted but it didn't revert in a way that it looked like how it was before give your hair a month because your hair is still adjusting because it was in a stress state it was traumatized so you need to like give it time so i wash my hair every week so i'm going to wash my hair again and what i like about this is that i don't have extensions here it's basically not this so i have extensions like towards the end of my hair so when I wash my hair, I will still like put shampoo on my scalp, rinse everything out and put deep conditioner. I'm going to do a lot of deep conditioning. I'll do a lot of mask treatments. 
so that I can replenish the moisture back into my hair. I'm going to use a lot of protein treatments so that my hair gets back to its normal form. Um, I know that when you use heat, somehow your texture does loosen. Let me just put that out there. Your hair does loosen. Um, my plan is to straighten my hair again next year. So I have the whole year. Throughout the year, I will trim my ends because I did already trim my hair already like a lot of it I trimmed a lot of my hair and um as the year progresses my hair will start growing again my natural virgin hair will start growing out so as it grows out the damaged ends I will trim as necessary when necessary so just want to put it out there that the hair does become a bit thinner when I say thin I mean like in terms of like it's not as coarse like my hair has this coilier part of my hair and when i started using the heat when i felt my hair i found my hair looser i don't explain it's more smoother and more looser it's like i put a texturizer the way it feels but i will keep updating you guys with the manner of how my hair is responding and when i wash my hair and how it looks after a month after two months um, did I damage my hair? And if I didn't damage my hair, how does my hair look? Especially when you're a four type, um, we struggle to keep our hair straight because our, our hair texture, our hair, our hair strands want to curl back. Naturally, our hair wants to curl. So especially when you have a tight curls like how I do, the main thing it wants to do is curl up, not to be straight. So I never, I've noticed most of our most of us who have four type hair, our hair takes a while for it to actually straighten. Like, unless you put that, do like a Brazilian blowout. Now you're asking for damage. You're really asking for some heat damage. I don't want heat damage, so I tried my best. I really did. I really tried my best not to go so many times on my hair. But I will say this. I really enjoyed having straight hair not to say i hate my natural curl i don't hate it at all i actually i actually am so happy that i have the privilege of god gave me the privilege to being a natural girly i'm so grateful that god gave me this texture because i can switch and change anytime one moment i can have blowout hair i can have straight hair i can have a fro i can have volume i can have a sleek style then I can do styles like this. I'm so grateful that I can chop and change. I can do whatever I want. I'm so grateful for that. And um, it was very easy doing this hairstyle. Like my hair is shiny. This is this is literally my hair. It's really shiny. And then, like I said, towards the ends is the extensions. But like the shine in my hair is like my hair is responding really well. Like I said in the video that when you straighten your hair, and you have low porosity hair, somehow your hair can go from low porosity to medium, low porosity to high porosity because of the gaps in your strands. So in a way, when you put heat, because heat opens up the cuticles, but when you use the type of heat that I use, like a blow dryer and a straightener, it kind of like, it causes damage to the cuticle and it makes your cuticle porous. And when your cuticle is porous, it absorbs easily but at the same time be careful because as much as it is absorbing moisture moisture can escape because it's easy for it to escape because the cuticles are open so i had to also think and be like wait my hair is recovering from damage me putting heat on it so i need to think like someone who has high porosity not like someone who has low porosity so i had to put my products like i would put like a high porosity girly Make sure I not put too much oils or too many heavy products because it can weigh my hair down. And I've noticed that I was oiling my hair a lot when my hair was straight. So I need to replenish it back with water. I spend some time. I spend some time washing my hair so that my hair drinks up all the moisture because it's thirsty. And then I did a deep conditioner and I left that deep conditioner more than an hour so that the moisture that was lost was replenished back. And then I washed it off and then I put in a leave conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. And then I added like another moisturizer 
from on Jackie's. I'll put a picture here. And then I add in oil to seal. And it didn't like, and then I, it, after that, I immediately put my hair up and I put it in a satin bonnet, a scarf, and then I put a satin bonnet on top of that. It's winter. Well, it's not really winter yet. It's like autumn going for winter here in South Africa. And uh, my hair needs to be, it tends to be dry in the air. So my, I don't want my hair to dry up even more. So I put it in a bonnet, put it away. And then the next day I started braiding my hair. My hair was dry. Parting was a breeze. Parting was a breeze. So my hair wasn't 100% dry. So parting was a breeze. And I just started braiding and braiding. But this is how my hair looks. This is how it looks. Um, it does have, my roots do look sleek. They do look sleek, but there is some texture. Um, I will, like I said, I will show you guys the progress of, of restoring curls back into my hair. The kinks, the coils back into my hair. Um, it's a choice. If you want to straighten your hair, it's your choice. Just know that when you use heat, it does cause some form of, I don't like the word damage, but it does change your hair in a way. If you had a tight curl, a really tight curl, you're going to go from really tight to tight. If you had a, a like really soft curls, it's going to be even softer. So it does, in a way, it's like an iron. It really irons out the kinks, literally irons out. So the pattern, you want to get it back after some time. So I need to keep putting back the moisture because the moisture is what causes the elasticity to come back. I need to restore my elasticity back into my hair. And, but I'm okay with that. I made that choice. And, but I want to just guide you guys and give you guys knowledge how to enjoy your journey as being a natural and not have this thing like I can't straighten my hair because it's going to get damaged. And if you do, what do I do afterwards? Just enjoy your hair. Don't be put. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't put yourself in a box where you feel like you cannot do this, you cannot do that. A lot of our other sisters from other, our other sisters, they go and they change their hair. They go ginger, they go blonde, they go brunette, they cut it, and then after a year it's grown up again. They do fringes and bangs. They do all kinds of things to their hair. Why can't we do all kinds of things with our hair? Why can't, as a woman, enjoy your hair? Let's not be bound by, the, by the, the rules of the natural hair community. Like, for me, I'm a natural girly, but I explore with heat. I explore with color. I explore with braids. I explore with all kinds of things. But at the same time, I keep it healthy. At, at the end of the day, I still got hair in my scalp. I still got hair growing. And I may decide tomorrow that, you know what? I'm not going to use heat ever again. I'm not going to braid my hair ever again. I'm going to rock my fro. I can do whatever I want. So I just want you to have that freedom. Like for me, let's not be oppressed by the rules of the natural hair community that you can't do this, you can't do that. Because we're literally going back to the very same thing we're trying to free ourselves from. We're trying to free ourselves from being put in boxes about our hair. Now we're going back to a different box. So guys, be free. Enjoy yourselves. Like I look so good. I look so good. I'm so I feel confident. I love my hair. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep posting. And I'm so grateful that you watched until the end. And remember to thumbs up my videos, please, guys. You watch them, but please thumbs up. It's like a thumbs up button or tab right there. Just thumbs it up. And if you have something to say, you have nothing to say, you can just put a heart in the comments. If you have something to say, feel free to send a shout out and be like, hey Pam, how are you doing? And I respond to my messages and also follow me on my social media platforms, on Instagram. Mostly I post a lot on Instagram compared to the other platforms like Facebook and TikTok. So I'm more frequent on Instagram. Feel free to follow me there. And I keep burping guys, I'm so sorry. So yeah guys, and thank you so much for watching this video and tuning into my channel. There'll be more coming up, a lot of exciting things I wanna share with you guys. And God bless you guys, God is amazing. And remember that we live by faith and not by sight. Today is a blessed day and I love y'all. See you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 